together to welcome the very beautiful Karen Gillen. Halo semuanya, ini lagi press Iya sama Kak Chandra juga. Karen, how does it feel to be one of the rare villains to survive from movie to movie? <laughs> I'm honored. Um, it's very exciting to get to be in more than one Marvel movie. Um, yeah, I mean, I love this character because, you know, initially she was a villain and then we kind of learned more about her backstory and then we start to question whether she really was a villain or not. Um, I'm just looking at this and this is the best. <laughs> this is the weirdest sensation in the world. Having Those are for sale. You can buy one later. <laughs> <laughs> just a shameless plug. Um, but no, I, um, I love playing this character. I can't believe I get to do it in multiple movies. It's very exciting. Thank you, Kara. And now, Joe. Welcome back to Singapore, Joe. Thank you. Now, we saw you the last time uh, when you were here to promote Captain America Civil War with Team Cap. Uh, how does it feel to be back with Team Iron Man this time around? Uh, it feels awesome. <laughs> it feels great. Uh, I, uh, all along, I supported Team Iron Man. I just wanted to run. Honestly, I really I was supporting Team Iron Man all along. I was here with Team Cap just as a favor to Chris, but uh, uh, no. But it's great to be back. Absolutely love Singapore. Fans are the best here in the world, uh, and uh, we're, we're all very happy to be here. So thank you. Oh, we are thrilled to have all of you here. Our last one, If you could have the power of any of the Avengers, who would it be and why? No question. <laughs> Oh wow, that's a tough one. Oh. You know, the world hasn't seen I'm sorry, her. I have to get that. <laughs> the world hasn't seen her yet, but I have to say Captain Marvel. Only yeah. because she's, you know, she has super strength, she has uh, super speed, and she can fly. Who doesn't want to fly, right? Um, and I think most importantly, she's a strong character and a leader, and I think everybody can... You know, really look up to her, especially little girls. Awesome. Once again, it's a thrill to have all of you here today. Thank you so much for coming to Singapore. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've heard a little bit about these talented people and this incredible film. Now we open the floor to you guys and your questions. Should you have a question or questions for any of our wonderful guests today, please raise your hand and we will certainly have a microphone brought to you. Okay? All right. Wow. The lights are really bright um, let's start off with... Can we turn the lights a little brighter on us? I want to go fully blind. <laughs> I don't see anyone in this room, but light. 
this is what this is what it was like for the people. It's close encounters of the third. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what it's like when you're yes. I love it. Starring in an I'm eclipse. assuming there's a big group out there, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that's the person. Hello. Hello. So oh, we can hear you. Now. Oh, Hi, I'm Jabba from we Australia. Go. Hello. Good night. How are you? So, I, I brought a small Thor hammer. I brought the thunder from down under. <laughs> Firstly, on behalf of cinema goers right the way around the world, thank you for the last 10 years of cinematic joy. It's been incredible watching all of you guys. Everyone that's touched the mind on the brand new film that looks like the last superhero movie that needs to be made apart from Captain Marvel. Um, I want to take it back, if that's all right, and ask Robert Downey Jr. and Karen, hello again, and Benedict, about casting. Um, Robert, if you cast your mind back to when they first came to you and said, hey, do you want to be Iron Man? the cinematic landscape of superhero films didn't exist in the way that it does now. It feels like that was a pretty big risk back then. And can you other guys speak to that, Benedict and Karen, about how that felt when you were asked to be cast about how being a superhero is a pretty key moment in your career now, whereas for you, Robert, maybe it was a, a really, really huge risk. Thank you, guys. And this line, I can yeah, have a one-on-one uh, interview with Edozil. Yeah, that was a really good job. Bad. Kalau kalian mau ikut really tanya, tulis komen in, uh, di posting gue. Ya. And Feige and, and just that, I believe in Marvel Comics, um, and it was at a time when DC was really, uh, even from my perspective, I was like, well, we'll do ours and we'll give them some counter programming for the DC movies, which are the which are supposedly the cool ones. So, but you never know. It's become. It's always weird when you're part of anything, even mildly historical, because you, you lose perspective on it and. Um, but it has been amazing to just get caught up in it. And I think the two things they've done very well is casting of, uh, of the actors and casting of the directors. Well, for me, um, I just got a phone call from my agent um, asking me if I'm willing to shave my head. And I said, what for? And they said, Marvel. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty easy one. Um, <laughs> and then I did like multiple auditions and a screen test. And then um, and then when I got the role, I was just completely over the moon. I mean, Marvel was already such a huge thing by that point. Um, and I was just so excited um, to play this villainous, fun, creepy, weird character. Um, yeah, I was just so excited. I mean, even though I was very late to the party, I was enthralled to it like you were, just caught up in the fandom of it and being an ardent lover of it in the cinema. And... Uh, there were sort of vague discussions of journalists said, oh, you make a great Doctor Strange. So it was sort of weirdly somewhere in the back of my head. Um, the real ticket winner for me was the humour. I just, I knew it had to be, this is a, this is a strange character by name and nature, and <laughs> what is his place, what's his need in the world now? And actually, funny enough, who would have thunk it? You know, the idea that the brain has the power to help ease your way, that you can change your world with thought and access something other than our reality is a new direction for Marvel to go in and it's weird and wonderful and yeah I wanted to somehow ground it and make him human and, and funny so it was a challenge and I was really enthralled to that. It had to be different because everything that come before was so damn good and when they presented to me the pitch of it I thought yeah how can I not I could have a lot of fun doing this. Hello hello. Guys. Jill. Hey guys. Hey. Good morning. Howdy. Hi, how are you? Alright, so I actually had, oh I'm Jill from Kiss92. I had a bunch of questions, but after watching the fan clip last night, right, two things, like, couldn't could go to sleep because of these two things. Firstly, um, Stark has a new suit with things come flying out of it, but he's using a flip phone. Okay, that's spoiler. Like, I mean, I know it's movie and make-believe, but <laughs> even that's a bit of a stretch, using a flip phone, so... Right, 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 Ah, spoilers, spoilers, ada spoilers. Maaf, nah, kita kita cut dulu ya, bentar ya. So, I think it's Joe actually. By the way, let's explain the flip phone. That is the, the burner phone. Saya cut dulu ya, ada spoiler.